While this Thanksgiving will look different this year for many families across the country, people still will be needing help cooking their perfect turkey, and they know just who to call, Butterball. Joining us right now from his home kitchen is Bill Nolan. He's a Butterball Turkey Talk Line supervisor. And Bill, it's good to see you this year. Probably more than ever, we need your help this time. I have to admit, I'm, I'm cooking a Thanksgiving turkey for the first time ever by myself without the help of my mom, my mother-in-law, my grandma, or anybody else out there. And I can't imagine I'm the only one. Have you guys been getting more calls than usual? Well, we have, Becky. Thanks for having us this morning. We're, we're thrilled to be with you. We've been getting a lot of calls this year. And, you know, we've, we've found that um, through our research over the summer that a lot of people are still going to have Thanksgiving this year. But to your point, they're going to be smaller get-togethers. So they're not going to be as big of parties, and they're not going to have the help that they had before. So we have a lot of first-time hosts this year that are calling us up. They're texting us. They're going to our website and emailing us. And this is the perfect time for the Butterball Turkey Talk line. Folks can reach us at 1-800-BUTTERBALL, and we're there to answer your questions, everything from what turkey to select to how to cook the turkey and have it come out as a beautiful turkey we see in front of us right here. So we are here all day today. We're here all day Thanksgiving Day and the day after. We'll be here till Christmas Eve, actually, to help answer all your turkey questions. What's the most important tip you can give a first-time chef who, again, doing this by themselves, in terms of what you need to absolutely make sure you don't do? How do, how do I not overcook it? What else should I be checking? Should I be basting it? Yeah, absolutely. The, the, the number one tip is to make sure that you have a reliable meat thermometer or something like I have right here. This is the way that you find out if you're cooking your turkey to the proper temperature for food safety purposes, but also for the best eating quality. And we recommend that you take your turkey and you um, take the temperature of the turkey when it comes out of the oven and make sure that you check it in the breast. It needs to be cooked to 170 degrees in the thigh to 180 degrees. And if you choose to stuff your turkey, you check the stuffing temperature and that needs to be cooked to 165 degrees. But the first time cooks, go to the Butterball website. We have a series of how-to videos, how to roast a turkey, how to grill a turkey, however you're going to prepare it. We also have um, frequently asked questions there. We also have the talk line people can call. You can chat us, you can email us, however you wanna get a hold of us. But the first time cook should have a plan. You know, know what time the turkey should go in, how long it's gonna take, how long they need to rest it, and then carve it and then put away the, the leftovers safely within two hours. So if you have all that information, yeah. you can have a successful Thanksgiving dinner. My inclination is uh, to go ahead and baste it a bunch of times, but how often should I be doing that? And by taking it out of the oven and opening the lid, am I extending the cooking time? You actually really are extending the cooking time. And, you know, everybody's anxious to eat, so the last thing they want to do is have to wait. And the great thing about a butterball turkey is the butterball turkeys are self-basting. So you, there is really no need to baste the turkey at all if you're using a butterball turkey. And to your point, every time you open that oven door, you're letting a tremendous amount of heat out. So that heat, the oven then has to recover when you close it. So the only thing you need to open the oven door for is to check the temperature, which you really wouldn't do until about two thirds of the way through the cooking process. And if you do that, you will have a, perfect, a perfectly browned turkey like we see right here, because it is self-basting. And basting, all basting is gonna do really is color the outside of it a little bit more, but it's not gonna really make the meat juicy. And the way to have the meat juicy and dependable that it's gonna be really good every time, again, 170 degree temperature in the breast of the turkey is the way you can ensure that. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.